Did you look at any of these features in here? Nope. No? You don't hear it, but you feel it. I like that. Oh my god! god! Do you think you can attain? Oh my god! No! I don't <laughs> like that! Not 12 minutes. That's too long. What do you mean? To get ready for a drag race. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, guys, so if you're wondering why a Tesla and why an EV, come on, my dude, zero to 60, 1.9 seconds. It just made sense for us to experience it ourselves, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get these guys out here. Come on, James, Alex, let's chat about this car. At least one of you is semi-excited to see it. Someone <laughs> I'm else excited. Care less. Yeah. Alex is not an EV yeah. car guy. Things that don't make noise, <laughs> I get it. No uh, noise, no vibration, it's fast as shit, mm -hmm. but that's zero to 60 and quarter mile only. I'm not a drag guy either. I've seen you in drag before. No. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of drag. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, stupid fast, there's no doubt. The price point's high though. There's a it, lot of cars. It's, no doubt. It's you not cheap. Buy. Yeah. It's not cheap. But like, the, the base or the regular model, the entry model, 80 grand, it's 70 still high. grand. It's still, still a lot high, of money. right? It's more expensive than most of the cars, yeah. right, accessible. I mean, you know, my initial my, my initial complaint about any mm -hmm. EV car. Now, mind you, I drive a hybrid mm -hmm. Toyota. What do I what do Sienna. I drive? A Sienna. <laughs> you drive a Prius. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I drive the, drive the large the version of the Prius, version. and it's super convenient. But mm -hmm. it's easy to put gas in it, and it gets 40 about 38, 40 miles per gallon. And, and that's for, amazing. For those reasons, I love it to death. If it was a solely an EV only car. I know there's charging stations everywhere and you've got to be so well planned. Everything you do has to be so well planned. If you don't ha at least have 240 in your home, yeah. it's a hassle to charge one of these things, oh, which yeah. is what we discovered. Right. It took well, yeah. three days to charge it on 110. Just our standard one. Yeah, it's 110. 110 power. Right, so, so on 240, that ramps up significantly on supercharger. That's where you get the benefits of quick charge, but that's for it, not for a for a DC. Yeah. So that's why you need that huge rectifier system to get the What are those, powers. about a thousand bucks? I don't know, I don't no, know what they are. I bet it's a whole different a, system to have I, that. Cause yeah. the, the ones that you can put in your house are the 240, oh. which is like your home supercharger. Oh, right. I see. Because you plug in overnight and it's yeah. eight hours. Exactly. So when, you're, when you get home, you go to bed, you wake up right. and it's ready to go. Exactly. Right. We okay. would have had to have been sleeping for four freaking days yeah. and it still wasn't fully yep. charged. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So. there is the inconvenience factor of Will that get better maybe? I'm sure it will. Yeah. We like the sound cars make that have combustion engines and the vibration and all of those senses that you get out of a, a car. You have to literally sit there, even from the smell of the vapors of the gasoline right uh, some of us like that no uh, that's, i do yeah <laughs> so it you turns know, something on it, it does yeah. and, and you don't have that in fact i i pulled it in here i have the little card you know the little card in my wallet they say you have to have this little this little card you put that in your wallet and i, I don't even know if you have to have that and then of course the key which basically looks like a, a miniature version of the car and and that's it you don't start anything. You just put your hand to the door handle. It opens <laughs> up, and it, you just present your butt to the chair, and <laughs> and it illuminates, and you just swipe down for backwards and swipe up for frontwards. That's all I know so far. I can't tell you how to make it go fast. I can't tell you. We're going to learn all of that. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to get to see, <laughs> you know, the impression of mm -hmm. guys that are total novices to an EV car. Well, I'm, I'm, I want to, I want to introduce my butt to the car. Okay. As you so <laughs> put it. Yeah. And I mean, realistically, we bought it because we know it's fast. Yeah. So yeah. we want to know what that feels like. Yeah. And the G's you don't get in a street car that's on Pilot Sport 4S's. You don't. That can run a one nine zero to sixty. That's. Which so is ridiculous. Yeah. It is yeah. a badass looking car. It is. Though. It is. And it's so the, the 2021 is definitely a wider body. And just to clarify some things, because initially I was yeah. under the impression that the plaid was the wider version. It turns out all of the 2021 Model S's are wider than the previous generation, mm -hmm. which looks nearly identical. I mean, you really have to look at it to see the difference. It's subtle cues. It's subtle. Yeah, yeah. but the width. If it's, you had them side by side, you would see it. It's right. very yeah. hippie. I love it. I, I think it's a really good looking car. You know, we all got into this business because of our love for cars and driving. I, you know, when I turned 16 years old, I couldn't get to the DMV fast enough to get my license. I, <laughs> I couldn't. That's the truth. You know, and I don't look at driving 
uh, as a necessity before I look at it as a thrill. You know, I enjoy mm -hmm. driving and I did it as a teenager. I didn't even think about, oh, I have to get to school or, oh, I have to get to the store. Mm -hmm. I I'd never looked at it from the perspective of being transportation. I looked at it from the perspective mm -hmm. of a thrill ride, hmm. you know, something fun to do. And that's that's an interesting, interesting take because I looked at it as a as a step towards freedom. We talked a little bit about this when we talked about doing this. Mm -hmm. We talked about who is the EV owner. Every car that I purchase, now I'm sitting here having this conversation, I'm remembering I have a Sienna Vinny van sitting outside that I drive to work every day. Right. But you know, we have all these cars right. available to no, us to you drive. Said, you said it right there. Mm -hmm. I have a Sienna minivan that I drive to work every day. Right. That's solely it transportation. That's solely transportation. to B. Right. It is solely transportation. I have a Prius that I drive to work every day. Right. It is solely for that right. gas mileage and for that HOV sticker. That's it. Yeah, there you you know? go. Yeah. So, I can't find anything to drive that I would like to drive every day. <laughs> I like what he you does. <laughs> I can't I find something that I would like to. How many cars did I, I change I don't like in driving 21? my Prius every day. He does not like driving the minivan every day. I mean, it's comfortable yeah. and it does what it's supposed yeah. to do. But it's, it's still, there are days, especially when you wake up and it's mm -hmm. a crystal clear day outside mm -hmm. and it's just, uh, you know, everything's aligned beautifully and, and you get into your transportation car and you think, God, you know, it would be really fun to take the Z28 to work oh, today. Heck yeah. You know, I'm just wondering how many people out there actually purchase these cars and have GT3 RSs or Ferraris or, you know, sports cars sitting in their garage. I would imagine. Interesting. I think more the plaid owner specifically would be more that way as their toy car. That makes sense. Because they're like, I still want to go fast. So yeah. then their commuter car is this ridiculous zero to 60 car right, right. Yeah. and then their toy car on the weekend is gt3 RS and let's not forget looks and comfort and luxury right. and creature right. comfort all the new stuff well, yeah people know what Tech. this is worth this is still a status car well where's oh, the yeah absolutely where, so where's the model three there were all sorts of incentives to buy the Model 3. There were right. all sorts of tax incentives and, right. of course, incentives to get in the HOV lane, especially in California right. in these busy cities. Well, and it was supposed to be cheap. And it was cheap. But, but it, it was wasn't. never cheap. Yeah, it was, it was never cheap. Really yeah, cheap. It was never cheap. It was supposed to be a $30,000 EV. Yeah. Know? But, you know, it's odd, though, we're having this conversation, and mm -hmm. I personally know of a handful of buddies mm -hmm. that have car collections that are insane mm -hmm. that drive Model 3s, mm -hmm. you know, as, as primary cars. Yeah. But it's still so, a fifty thousand dollar car, would you say? Yeah, the three. Yeah, I think three. So. Yeah. Nicely outfitted. Yeah. Right. You know, and here's the other thing: how many friends do we have mm -hmm. that aren't into cars, that look at it as a car as a mean of tra means of transportation? We're I don't we're have not friends. I don't have that many friends. <laughs> yeah. right? If we're not into cars, we're usually not friends. I mean, so, no, I don't know. I, yeah. I mean, I do know I people. Because we're I, surrounded I, I do actually know people that are not into cars yeah. that have Teslas, and it's their main car, and they don't have a toy car sitting in their garage to drive on the weekends. I have no friends outside of this group that have a Tesla. Usually my friends are maybe the outdoorsy type, so they're not in the cars, but they have a Jeep or an SUV, mm. or they don't care and they have a minivan, but they're not at the point where like, oh, I have to have a Prius, or I have to have a hybrid minivan, or I have to have an electric car. Yeah. So what is the driver of the electric cars? Yeah, I think it's a combination of reasons why mm -hmm. people would want to you know, own a Prius or own a EV car mm -hmm. or that shit is so loud. It's like the it Death like, Star. Sound like the Death Star. <laughs> it does. It's yeah. a, what the heck? Dun, so dun, I'm dun, assuming dun. that's warming the batteries. Is Dude, that what it's doing? Super loud. Wow. Is it warming the battery? I, I would assume so because it's pretty cold in here. It's a deep sound. It's, it's cool. Yeah. It's definitely not a wimpy noise, you know? You know, the hardest part about this car that I anticipate is the the stimulus that you get you know when you drive it the sound and vibrations have such an important impact on me in driving a nostalgic classic car yeah. or you know yeah. a car that you're putting on the track yeah. and putting through its gears well what what any great movie to does to pull you into it is it's that third sound. dimension that sound yeah. right the base of without the, the sound the theater so you lose that in an EV You lose car. something. Yeah, that's the great way to say it. You lose that. Well, I am super anxious to put it out on the road. You guys go for a drive. Call me when it's zero to 60 time.
All right, is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. All right, Come let's on. go figure. Let's do it. I don't know. We gotta figure out how all this yeah. crap works. All right. Off to see the wizard. Did you look at any of these features in here? Nope. No. This is cool. This has adjustable compression and rebound. So I'm not sure if you can make adjustments on here, or these are just like, uh, like telemetry, like data collection. But I would like to learn more about this page here. That's that's pretty bad. Yeah, I was so, looking. So also how here. do you give it? How do you get it to where it's got power going? Okay, to it, so these so. are the pedals and steering, and under that menu you have acceleration, right? Chill, which I find that very amusing. Uh, sport and plaid, right? So chill is just normal, right? Chill. Sport is probably a little bit more spirit and plaid is obviously what it is. It's got drag strip mode. So drag strip mode mm -hmm. is the getting the, the best launch time. Or is probably so. So now plaid, plaid. and probably drag strip mode together. Oh, you know, there you go. See? Mm, press and hold. Your peak performance twenty minutes remaining. Swipe down. And uh, Oh sweet. Here we go. Yeah, the steering wheel. I don't know, man. Well, that's not a steering wheel. There's your it's first problem. It's a yolk. Yeah. A yolk or a yolk? Yolk. Yolk. Not like an egg yolk. <laughs> yeah. It's a yolk. It's a yolk. <laughs> yolk mm -hmm. mama. Yolk uh, mama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Can we get some HVAC here? Do you even know how to do that? Yeah, you just go like this. Okay. And there. Oh, sweet. There. There you have it. Nice. Oh, I feel it now. Yeah. You don't hear it, but you feel it. I like that. So look at the steering wheel. Now, this is kind of weird, you know? Yeah, that's some adaptation. That's a learning right there. Yeah. Yeah. Should we give it a little punch and see what it does? Because this is sport mode, so it should do something, right? I would think so. Something sport inclined. The yoke feels awkward. You... What? <laughs> Mother. Oh Holy my God! God. That oh, is insane! All right, so Lordy! Dude, oh insane. my God! That's pretty impressive, dude. Okay, I want to do that. Again. that <laughs> okay, was, that was. I fun. know turbo lag and turbo. You know, putting you back. This thing punched me in the kidney, man! Son of a oh bitch. my God! Holy shit. Dude, what? <laughs> This isn't even plaid, or this yeah, isn't even this, yeah, is this is this isn't sport. Holy bananas! That is crazy. Okay, so you know that's fun. Whoa, that's pretty fun. It's kind of like a roller coaster ride. Whoa, you know? it comes on so linear. I know, dude. That's impressive. Wow. Okay, so I'm impressed. That's that's pretty fun. Wow. Well, let me call Alex. Okay. Get him out here. All and, right, and see if we could. Have him go for a ride with us. Let's do it. Uh, Alejandro. Mm -hmm. Alejandro, Alejandro. I like how it displays all this. Hey. Stuff. Hey, come on, uh, come hey. on out. Let's go for a ride. Oh, okay. What's up? Come on out. Let's go for a ride. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I want to give you a bit of a heads up. So we were in sport mode. We still are in sport mode. Uh -huh. The sport acceleration mode. and sport mode is preposterous. Is it? It's it's ridiculous. Are my heated seats on? Because I don't. No, there's no, no heated seats. You don't have. I have a display here. Oh, oh, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. There's a display in the 2021 now for the rear passenger. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And this isn't even in plan. It's just like a constant suction of yeah. your body into the seat. I'm in love with this That's car. That's stupid. It's so That's awesome. So stupid. <laughs> I love it. I it's so controlled. I can feel my face kind of like pulling. <laughs> I absolutely crazy. love it. Oh my goodness. I want to see how... What the... Oh, see that? Oh, I know, right? Like, where's the steering yeah. wheel? Or where's the... It's not there. The yoke. Yeah. The yoke. Mm-hmm. How do we do we can we change it on the fly? Can we put it no. in a plaid mode on the fly? No, because that's only for drag. Plaid? The No, you can put it in plaid mode for driving, but for drag race mode you have to be stand still and then it goes into its uh distance. 
not just no not the cheetah stance it goes into the you know the setup where yeah, the staging the it goes setup, into the yeah. staging yeah but plaid mode is the so without drag mode yeah in plaid is supposed to be two and a half seconds zero to 60. Wow, well, still impressive <laughs> right well, right now the plaid mode and the oh my god! god. Shit! Oh my gosh, that takes your breath away, doesn't it? Dude, it's like a punch in the heart. That's Dude, insane. Feel the tires? Yeah, That's a little sick. bit. I felt a little bit. Holy cow! Wow, guys, I'm impressed as hell. It's that's this is so ridiculous. It's hard. Why do you need this as a daily? It's hard. Yeah, you Who absolutely don't. this as a daily? This is so insane. Wow. It really, your, your heart kind of skips a beat a little bit. Wow. So from here to those railroad tracks, do you think you can attain? Oh, oh my God. God. Gee, <laughs> Ebony, Christmas. <laughs> holy crap, holy. <laughs> Dude, oh freaking, you gotta <laughs> say you're about to do something, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's so much fun. What a thrill. You can't even turn your head. No, dude. That oh, is insane. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I freaking love it. I mean, seriously, that is impressive as hell. How could anyone not be impressed you by that? You didn't cheat a stance because you just went no, from stop was... to slamming the throttle yeah. down, yeah. right? Yeah. Come or I should say the accelerator. Yeah. That's insane. You I felt mean, it in your face, didn't dude. you? Wow. Insane. Super impressive. I, I just, I'm blown away by this car. Blown away by it. Yeah, it doesn't make some <laughs> really bitching sounds, but come on. You know what? I get it. I do too, man. That's so impressive. Oh, wow. What a thrill. We have to take some random people out for rides. Yeah. And, and just take them for a quick drive. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, let's just give them a warning. Uh, let's sound the horn again. The Where's the horn? Okay. Where'd you get the horn from? I think it's here. Wait. Display? No, it's, uh, is it on controls? It's on controls. Isn't it? Oh, that was brightness. I, I can't okay, remember we're... where it was. <laughs> Suspension safety, navigation safety. Wait. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Whatever this so star and fire. moon is, yeah. There. And then scroll up or down. Uh, so, let's do the fort. Yeah. <laughs> it's so loud. It's so loud. Yeah. Uh, this is hilarious. The shit it does here. Oh man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. wiener. It's definitely. What's that? that noise? What's that? That noise at random that goes. It's probably the wind, the glass adjusting. Oh yeah. Oh. Could be. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 this car's too fast. This is ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> what the heck? It's, it's so, so stupid. stupid. What happens if you get used to it? How? Does well, that happen? You, I would imagine if you drive this every day, it's not like you're going to be eating up a bunch of gas. You well, know? you can't. You're not going to drive like that every day. It's just too much, right? No, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I could see. Grand. I could see yourself getting so used to this that it'll be hard to get in another car that doesn't provide adequate performance. Like you yeah. make every single yellow light ever. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. No question. Pretty much. So you want to try a launch? Yeah, dude. Because no, it's in drive um, strip mode. Well, try it. It's gonna. It should give you an indicator. Right there. It's on oh. your screen. Calculating conditioning. So oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Go. Now we gotta see how long it says. Well, it's doing a lot of calculating. Last time it showed up immediately. Well, now it's hot. The motors and stuff. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you want to read this while we wait, <gasps> or if we take it shame? out of there, will no, it? No, I think that was a good time to breathe. Conditioning for peak performance calculating. Yeah. There you go. 
Okay, so drag strip mode provides optimum acceleration for closed circuit. That's an interesting language. Mm -hmm. Okay, firmly press the brake. I am. Okay. Press and hold fully and hold. So fully all the way down, I'm assuming, right? All the way until the yeah. It says two minutes remaining. Well, this is longer than two minutes. No. Rock arm traction, wait for the ready to launch message, which shows when front suspension is lowered in a cheetah stance. Nice. Set three, to launch, release the brake pedal. Oh. So it's not... It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. It still mm -hmm. says two minutes. Yeah. Should we just go or... Oh, nice. Slip start. No, I don't think it's going to let you. Nothing. I, I could do it. I just don't wait for it to say it go. I think the back end drops a I think we've been about eight minutes now. I think we've been about eight and a half minutes now. I think so. <laughs> do, 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 do. Maybe it won't. Because, I mean, it's been like eight minutes. <laughs> hey, what did we start with with mileage? Did you look at that? Oh wait, drag strip. Do peak, it. Peak, ready? Okay. Hold on. James. There. Okay, ready? <laughs> Hold on. on. Stay on the brake. Mash on the gas. Okay, Cheetah. The brake. Well, wait. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at that. Sick. That was badass. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> oh, that was sick. There has to be some amount of wheel slip. I don't know. It's going to let us do it again. Look. No way. Yeah, it says peak performance ready. What? Okay, ready? Hang on. No, I'm not, but go ahead. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's so badass. These things are rocket ship. It showed the plaid so mode, right? My hair yeah. stands on the glass from my head. Right? <laughs> that's cool, man. I love it. Hey, while it's Definitely in peak is. performance, let's take George and Joe real quick. Yeah. And you do this, and then you wait for it to come up in yellow, and then you let go of it. What the f***? Oh, shit. This is f***ing nuts. Isn't that insane? <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. so badass. Wow. <laughs> Safety. Have you been in one of these? Yeah, like a regular one. Oh, really? Uh huh. Tell me when you're ready. Go. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, let me get a little harder on the brake pedal. Now, watch this. <gasps> oh my god, Daryl. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? No, I don't <laughs> like that. It's so cool. No, that <laughs> gave me a heart attack. How could you not like that? No, that's scary. It's so cool. No. I'll go slow. I'll go slow. That gave me a f***ing headache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Fine. that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That. You just put that lever. Push the Which button. One? Just push that button. <laughs> Where do my keys go? I don't know. They're in the back seat. <laughs> <No. laughs> no launch mode. Okay, ready? You, like, it's Montezuma's Revenge that goes up, comes back. Yeah. That one, it's pretty much like that. Yeah. <clears throat> See how long it says for drag mode? Ah, 12 minutes. That's too long. What do you mean? To get ready for a drag race. Oh, yeah. wow. Dude, it still says 12 minutes. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Fast. 
I felt some sleeping front tires. Yeah, I heard it. Can you do it again? It's nice. I like it. But it's not the shit on my pants yet. <laughs> but it's, I like it. It's fast. It's super fast. Yeah. It's just. The motor, the engine sound is 50% of the motion. Yeah. That's the problem. I absolutely love this thing. I know it's completely out of the norm for what we're used to. And we all had some really, really wonderful experiences. You know, you guys got to see us learn all of its traits. That's kind of cool. I love that approach, you know, really just kind of yeah. diving into it, not reading too much about it. Neither did I, you know, so I wanted it to be a shock. I wanted that uh, first, real first impression, right? Right, right? Yeah, and I think it delivered. I think it's great. I'm uh, not... I'm not, there's nothing that's like, buy me, buy me, buy me, outside of the performance. Yeah. You know, the zero to 60, the 60 to 100, you know, phenomenal. It's a freight train. Yeah, it is. But it's an electric freight train. If I had 150K to spend on a daily, yeah. do I need 1.9, zero to 60? Do I even want it? Well, I mean, the bigger, I guess it's how you phrase that question. Yeah. Right? So if someone hands you, 150 grand yeah and says you have to spend all of it on a car right you can't use 80 of it and put the rest of it in your right. bank account i can't go buy a honda Civic. right have, like, you, you can't know, buy 20 jzx 90s yeah. Yeah. you know you have to you have to use all of it and what you don't use you give back you yeah. can't keep so yeah. if if that if you pose that the question that way and it could be your only car mm -hmm. i would go to the porsche dealership and GT3. i would just drive a um tank all day can. long for a daily? Where are you going to put For your For a daily. Front seat. Disables <laughs> airbag. And what about me? Where's your, where's, no, where's no. The that's not practical. We don't drive around daily together. Okay. But uh -huh. you got to have some kind of practicality, yeah. you know, in the GT3. Well, okay. Then, at 150 grand? Yeah. Okay, then rephrase yeah. the question. Yeah. Okay. It's the only car you can have. Practical. It's, it's the, the only oh, car you can have. It Rivian. can't be just your daily. Nice catch. A Rivian. Oh, you know, we have an experience. Yeah, yeah, so that's why I said I would go to the Porsche dealership. It's slightly I'd take a drive in a Taycan and see what it's all about. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that car aesthetically appeals to me. Does it? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a Panamera kind of look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I got it. So I would, I would want to do a little cross shopping. And I think that car, is it that cheap? <laughs> I don't, I, don't right I, 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 yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I would imagine it's... might be 170, I think. If you get a Turbo S taken. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. so funny they call yeah. it a Turbo S. Yeah. It's just um, trim. Yeah, it's a trim package. Stuff. Yeah. I don't know. So, you know, I, I love what, what, what they did with the new Tesla. I actually kind of prefer this look mm -hmm. over the taken. But that's just, that's just personal opinion. Right. You know? um, I don't know, man. I... You know, when I went into this, my expectations were a little low because of all the bad press I've heard mm -hmm. about the condition of the interior and the quality of the interior. And coming out of a late model Mercedes mm -hmm. as a as a car sitting in my garage, yeah. the quality of the interior is just phenomenal. And all the lighting and all that. I mean, it's so cool. You turn the lights on. I, you know, the E, the E, uh, oh, e class the wagon AMG, AMG car. Lighting. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool, and you, you don't have that in this car. You don't have that no. ambient lighting built into the door panels. Mm -hmm. But the technology's phenomenal. I love the way the screen lays out. I love the instrument cluster. Mm -hmm. uh, super easy to use. I mean, it is kind of like driving an Apple Watch. You know, it is right. It, it's it, an it, eye it's, car. <laughs> yeah. it, it, and so yeah. you know, for for a guy like me who you know, you get in, you don't hear anything except no. for a little chime in a car I'm used to driving, and you push the start button, you hear the exhaust, you yeah. hear the car come to life. Right. This is different. It's this just is... on. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a wrap on our, our Model S Plaid experience. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please check out our other videos. If you go back to our, our main channel feed and look through our video content, You'll see why this is so unique to us because all of our builds pretty much consist of overland vehicles or highly modded JDM cars or old classic American stuff, but there's lots of content out there and you know, please check it out. 
and please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, our goal is to push new content weekly, you know, a couple videos a week. We want to share all of these experiences with you guys. So, you know, thanks for, thanks for following and please comment. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks. Thank you.